Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the luxurious Flash Malmberg Spy Peekaboo. A few weeks ago I've done a review about the seamless lay flat and the classic lay flat photo books by Peekaboo and then I promised to show you the luxurious Flash Mount album as well. So that's the book I'm going to talk about today. I don't want to repeat myself too much so if you want to know more about the company and the editor, you can watch my previous review, the links are in the description below. Uh, just a few words about the company, it's an American company. They're quite big and they have a wide range of photo books that cover each budget, starting from the classic book for like $30, $40 to the flash mount book which is $400. So you can see that the, the range is quite wide between the most expensive and the most uh, affordable one. The Flash Mount book is obviously not an everyday book. It's not a book that you would create about your dinner last night unless you're absolutely loaded and you don't mind spending $400 on a book. But this book is obviously made for special occasions, celebrations and things that really matter to you and most of all for high quality pictures. This book is top notch from beginning to end. Every single aspect of it has the highest quality materials so you don't want to destroy that by using bad quality photos for it. So every book comes in a box like that and let me just show you the, the actual delivery box that it came in because it's not going to fit into my up close shot. This was the box that it came in, it had so much bubble wrap in it and it was really neatly and uh, tightly packed and that's the presentation box that the books come in. Basically all of the books come in the same size um, box and when you open it, it has even more bubble wrap and a care note. And let me show you the book. And that's my book. All of these books have a leather cover, a genuine leather cover. They are flush mount. As you can see, the pages are insanely thick. This is a very heavy duty book and let me just give you a flip through. So obviously I haven't had a wedding because I'm not married. So I made this book from pictures that were from a day which was very special to me. These are just photos from my day trip to Tyree, which is a small island in Scotland. But the reason why it was so special for me is because the weather here is so bad continuously that there's no way to ever plan a trip like that and see the white sand beaches. And this summer we finally had one week of predictably good hot warm weather and I grabbed on the occasion, went to the island and managed to see what I always wanted to see. So uh, although it's just a day trip, it was a really uh, once in a lifetime day. And let me just show you, so the book basically, I'm going to show everything in my upload shots but it's a leather cover book with stamping on the front and then it starts with a beautiful um, fabric empty double spread and then the book starts. So these are some of the photos from the island. Now this book might seem a little bit narcissistic because there are quite a lot of pictures of me, but again, when you travel by yourself, you can only take pictures of so many things, landscapes and yourself, so uh, don't judge me. And if you like this island, by the way, and you are in Scotland, you can take a plane from Glasgow Airport, it takes around 40 minutes. It's just a small six-seater, uh, a twin otter, or you can take the boat and that takes much longer. I think it's like a day to get there because you need to change somewhere else. But that's basically how the island looks. Just to show you, this is the thickness of a page. So everything is mounted onto board. And this is obviously a silver halide book, so the print quality is insanely good. I want to get into my upload shots now and show you everything about this book. A quick walkthrough in the editor and then I'm going to talk to you about the price, delivery and the pros and cons of the book. So as I said before my uh, big box didn't fit into my up close shot angle so I showed it to you before. This is the main box that comes with the book. So this is the actual gift box not the delivery box and it has peekaboo on the top and let's open it. As you can see, even inside there is so much bubble wrap, they really want to make sure that when you get these books, they are in perfect condition and nothing has been damaged. The first thing you'll see is a care instruction, viewing, storage and general cleaning. And we've got some bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, and then another wrap over the book. And that's the box inside.
And there we go. So this book comes in two sizes. It comes in an 11 by 9, which is this one, and a 14 by 11 inch landscape size. Of course, it would be nice to see more sizes, especially a few square sizes. If you spend three, four hundred dollars on a book, then you obviously want to have a wider choice of sizes. So just bear in mind that at the moment, it only comes in two sizes, 11 by 9 and 14 by 11 inch landscape. So let's have a look at the cover. All of these books come with a leather cover which is the only option, there is no linen, there is no uh, crystal, no other options, which uh, I think would be a nice addition to the range, but the leather cover, I must say, is absolutely amazing. Obviously, if you're a vegan, then this is not a book for you, but if you don't mind the leather cover, you're going to love it. The leather cover comes in five different colors, black, brown, coffee, red, or white. I chose the white cover because my pictures are about a white satin beach. Now it's hard to show you the texture of the book because it's quite bright and reflective, but hopefully you can see there. It's an extremely smooth, uh, luxury quality leather. And in the corner you can have stamping, which comes in several colors again, so you can match the edge of the book. Uh, I chose it at Tyree, Scotland, because that's obviously where the pictures were taken. On the spine you've got nothing, and on the back again you have nothing, so it's just a plain cover all over. And that's it, so you can see the texture there. And it was obviously handmade, and attention has been paid to every single little detail. It's just a joy to hold in your hands. So that's all about the cover. Five different colors for the leather. You can have stamping on the front, which can be uh, gold, silver, or black. Now let's move on to the binding. These books are flush mount. If you don't know what that means, it's basically a seamless lay flat book, but it's a lot thicker than a lay flat book, and that's why it's flush mount, because there is a sheet or a board inserted in between the sheets. So let's see how it starts. When the book opens, it starts with a gorgeous fabric finish here, an empty double spread, and let me show you. So this is a black, uh, smooth fabric material that starts your book, and this is the exact same on the back as well. And then you've got another black sheet, and then the book starts. And when you start paging, you'll see it opens completely flat and there is no break in the middle. Some flush bound books can have a break in the middle. It depends how the book was made. This one is a continuous uh, flow of images, so you can easily create double page spreads and there's going to be no break in your photos. Now when you get to the end, again there's the last page and there is a black sheet and then the uh, fabric double spread. And if you look at this book from the top, and then you can see that the pages are extremely thick and they're mounted onto board, which is the thickness of that, and it's gilded, so you can actually choose the color, which can be black, silver, or gold, so it can match the stamping on the front cover. The edges are rounded, which makes it even more elegant and luxurious. Uh, very few books have rounded corners, so if that's what you're looking for, you're going to love the Pickaboo Flush Mound book. And that's how the binding looks from the top. From all the books that I've seen in my entire life, this book has probably one of the nicest bindings ever. But at the same time, this is one of the most expensive books that I have. So that's something that I was expecting and I wasn't disappointed. Let's move on to the paper. This book comes with only one paper option, and it's a Kodak Endura photo paper, which has a lustrous finish. So on this paper, colors look absolutely vibrant. The paper is brilliant white, so if you want to use it for beach photos or snowy pictures, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Let me give you a close-up of the texture. You can see the pearly finish. It's a very, very subtle, pearly, lustrous finish. And let me give you something greener. There we go. It's a beautiful professional grade photo paper which is mounted onto boards, so the thickness doesn't actually matter because it's the 
is the thickness of the board that's going to matter in the final book. Let's move on to the printing process. This is the only book in the Pickaboo range which uses a server halide chemical method to develop the photos. Obviously you would expect that from a, from a flush mount book and the prints are absolutely perfect. Colors are really well balanced, it looks so natural. There's a continuous tone transition, so you're not going to get any dot structure like with the cheaper books in the range. And also the white looks white, what it's supposed to look. It doesn't have a creamish, it doesn't have a bluish uh, haze or tint over it. Everything is just how I imagined it to be, so the print quality is top notch and the best you can get. that's just the edges around the text. The final thing to talk about is the editor. The Pickaboo editor is probably one of the best ones when I think of the flush mount book editors. If I think of their editor in general compared to Mixbook and the other ones, then it's not so creative. But if I compare it to the companies who make flush mount books, then I could be far more creative in Pickaboo than, for example, in the Xeno editor. So as you can see, there are lots of text elements that you can add, lots of shapes, lots of layouts. You can uh, put pictures at an angle. Um, you can put little um, objects and stickers onto the book, Paradise. And in general, you have quite a lot of creative freedom in creating these books. Delivery was by FedEx and it was trackable from the United States. It costed $60 international. I think that's really expensive for delivery, but again, uh, it was uh, insured and trackable and was a huge box and it was meticulously packed. Despite that, I think it could still be a little bit cheaper. Delivery in the United States is much cheaper, is around $15. So obviously if you're international, it's going to be 60, but the company is focusing on the US market. The full price of this book is $399 and the, the one size up is $500. So it's not an afternoon tea, as you would say. And finally, let me give my final thoughts on the book. What were the things that I liked most and what were the things that I would bring your attention to or you might want to watch out for? Let's start with the pros. In general, I love everything about this book quality-wise. The cover is beautiful, it's handmade to every single detail. The stamping is nice, you can match the colour to the gilding. The binding is absolutely perfect and beautiful. The thing I love most about the binding is the fabric in the beginning. It just adds so much elegance to the book. Pages are extremely thick and you can choose the colour of the gilding. The editor, given that it's a flush mount book, is really, really creative. I could do far more in this editor than the ones for Zeno and uh, similar flush mount creating photo book editors. Printing was top notch. No problems with the colours, no problems with the dynamic range. Everything was as expected and the paper quality is also superior and premium. This is also one of the few books which has a rounded edge and the box and the packaging is also uh, a lovely addition to the experience. Now what to watch out for or what to think about before you spend so much on a book. The book comes in only two sizes as I mentioned before, two landscape sizes. They are both very popular sizes and the good size, this is a good medium size. But I do know that many of you might prefer a square book so adding a few sizes to the selection I think would definitely be uh, a beneficial step. The other thing is what I mentioned already, the cover. The book comes with only one cover option. It does come in a few different colours but it only comes with a leather cover and when you pay so much for a book again you would like to have at least one more option, a crystal or maybe acrylic or linen, something else because not everybody might want to go for the leather for preference reasons or if you're vegan or you know anything like that. So uh, having a few more cover options would definitely be welcome, especially with a book of such a price. Regarding the paper, as I said, when you only offer one paper option, the luster is the best and most versatile paper to offer. But at the same time, it would be nice to offer maybe an art paper option or a high gloss option for people who love a high gloss print like myself. None of these things are actually problems with the quality of the book. These are just things that I was missing 
as a selectable option given the price of the book. If you would like to see more up-close images of the book or read more about it, you can go onto my blog, thephotobookguru.com. If you would like to see more of my travel photography from this island or anywhere else from the world, follow me on Instagram, Guy Around the World. Follow me on Facebook and thank you for watching. As always, subscribe for more.